That is a formula for the sum of the first n terms of a geometric series and it's the expression we're going to prove today. We could write it down another way, like that. The difference between the two is just that the, the top and bottom have both been multiplied by minus 1 and the order changed, but otherwise they're exactly the same formula. A represents the first term of the series. R is the common ratio between successive terms of the series. The nth term is a times r to the power of n minus 1. And sn is just the label we give to the sum of the first n terms. So what is sn? Well, it's the first term, the second term, all the way up to the last, the nth term. So there's n terms from the first to the nth. Right, let's take that list across to a new page. Now here's the geometrical uh, algebraic trick we're going to be using. Multiply everything through by r. And I've staggered my line for a reason that you'll see in a minute. Because I'm going to subtract the bottom from the top now. So it's Sn minus Rsn. Here we get A. All the rest of these terms disappear. They're the same top and bottom and when we subtract them they go. Except for the last term which is stays as minus a r to the n. So let's write that down, factorising the left-hand side. Now let's do it again, factorising the right-hand side. And now divide through by 1 minus r to give ourselves the formula that we want. Uh, which we might write with a, a big bracket with the a outside, but it's exactly the same formula left and right there. Now there's another way to do this, but it does involve uh, knowing a particular form of factorization. Here's our Sn. Let's take the factor of A out from every term and put the rest in a bracket. That's the bracket we're interested in. There is this form of factorization. If you have 1 minus R to the N and N is a positive whole number, then it will always factorize according to this, fat this pattern. 1 minus r times the rest, in other words 1 plus r all the way up to r to the power of n minus 1 with plus signs between every one. Now that works for n uh, which is positive at a whole number so it works for the sort of cases that we're going to be using here. Now we're interested in the bracket so let's find out what the bracket is worth by turning this round. The bracket is this, because if we divide uh, this by 1 minus r, we just rearrange the formula. Now, Sn is a times the bracket, so Sn is a times the right-hand side, uh, which is our familiar formula. And that's another way of proving this formula, but you do have to know this pattern of factorizing expressions of the type 1 minus r to the power of n.